Welcome to the OneLife Application Builder tutorials. The OneLife Application Builder is developed by a team of professional developers, making sure that it is as easy as possible to create mobile applications in the current digital age. These days, developing a mobile application is a time-consuming and expensive process. Therefore, it's unreachable for many small to medium-sized businesses that would like to reach out to new customers but simply don't have the budget to build a mobile application. The OneLife Mobile Application Builder was designed to change this problem. The plug-and-play interface and the easiness of using the builder empowers everyone to have a mobile application. Today, over 2 billion people around the world are online using their smartphone. In 2015 alone, 100 billion mobile apps had been downloaded from the Apple App Store, and the number is growing. The OneLife Application Builder gives people the opportunity to reach out to new and existing customers by using the power of mobile applications. By following the MAB tutorials, you will get ready to start building mobile applications in a matter of a few hours. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder tutorials. By clicking Manage, you will end up in the Building section of the MAB. Here you can adjust the features of the application, change colors, information and all other things relevant to your application. The Builder consists of five different sections being Editor, Promote, Analytics, Users and Settings. We'll be having a look at the different sections in the next tutorials. Besides the App menu, there's also a System menu. The System menu is made to make changes to your account, see the statistics of your application and other relevant information regarding yourself and the applications you have built. The System menu consists of the following sections. Dashboard, System Stats, My Account, Access Management, Terms and Conditions, and Logout. We'll have a look at the system menu in later tutorials. Now that you're familiar with how the MAB is structured, let's have a closer look and go through all the different features this easy-to-use app builder has to offer. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder tutorials. Since having a great designed app is one of the major strengths in converting a user of the application into a customer, the design phase of the app is very important. Therefore, we have helped you by creating a set of different templates in order to get you started. Select one of the templates that fits the type of business you are building an application for. Don't worry, this template is only the basic structure of the app. You'll be able to fully customize the layout later. Layout. You have selected the template that fits your customer's need. Now it's time to adjust the layout of the app. We've created a set of different options for you to choose from. Select the layout that provides the best user experience. You can instantly see the layout in the preview on the right. Play around with it and imagine yourself being a potential user of the application. Is the layout easy to understand? Will I build an app with a lot of different features or a simple and easy to use app? These questions will help you selecting the right layout. Homepage image. 
you have set up the basic structure of your application. Now it's time to give the app a distinctive feel. By using a background image, you'll set the tone for your application. Make sure the images are not too distracting or obvious. Don't put a photo of a mouth full of teeth as a background for a dentist application. Rather, choose something more subtle. A pattern or a texture that's not too distracting, but sets the right mood. Also, think about your colour scheme when choosing a background image. Make sure to upload the right size image for the right purpose. The reason we require three different sizes is to make sure your app gets displayed correctly on all kinds of different devices with different screen sizes. Use a software package like Adobe Photoshop to make sure you create a pixel perfect background image. Country and font. You have almost set up how your app looks and feels. Another very important feature to make sure your app can be used by the target audience is to set the language and the currency. Also, make sure to choose a font that fits the style of your application. Congratulations! Have a look at the structure of your app in the preview window. It's quite amazing that you have already, in this short time, built a functioning mobile application. Let's have a look at the next tutorial to adjust more details. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Here is where you will decide what the user of the application can see and do inside the app. We have a lot of features to choose from, so select carefully. Too many features will make your app confusing and unfocused. Let's have a look at the first feature. News Wall The News Wall is the centralised place where news can be shown to the user of the application. This can be company news, news about promotions, events or any other important messages. You can easily add a new item by clicking Add. Fill in the title, date and subtitle. Make sure to write your news article in a compelling and compact way. Once you're done, you can add a cover image and change the background image. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and save your news item. You now posted your first news item. Keep posting them regularly to make sure the app is full of fresh new content. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Fan Wall The Fan Wall is where you can add an image, location or public post. You can use this feature to share quick updates about what's going on. Snap a photo of the latest dish in a restaurant or upload a promotional design. Don't forget that images should never reach over 2,000 pixels in dimension. This is the golden rule. This tool is a great way to get social with the users of the application. Discounts Everybody loves discounts. That's why they are a great tool to get more customers to buy or use the service you promote in the app. You simply add a discount by giving it a name, descriptions, conditions and an ending date. You can also select a discount that can only be used once. Make sure to add a picture to draw more people towards the discounted offer. You're able to change the background and design just like the other features. QR coupons. A QR code is a quick response code. 
It's like a barcode for smartphones. By making a QR code, you can create a unique code that holds a discount. It works exactly the same as making a discount. Fill in all the details and click Create QR Code. This code can now be shared with potential customers to attract them to the business the app is created for. Set Meal Set meals are a great way for restaurants to get people through the door. By creating a set meal deal inside the application, you're able to attract potential customers to the restaurant. Simply add a title, price and description. Don't forget to add a picture. You can add a special rule that applies to the set meal deal. Make sure to write a compelling description that interests people. Loyalty card. You're now able to replace the old-fashioned royalty cards with a fancy in-app royalty system. This way, business owners can reward their customers with extra benefits. Simply add a card name, the amount of points and the reward per point. Have a look and try it out. It's a great way to make sure customers return to the application and business instead of going somewhere else. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Contest. Some marketing tricks will always work. Contests is one of them. People simply love to play games. You can create as many contests as you want. With this feature, you get a clear overview on who is participating in the contest and who ranks first. Don't forget to specify the duration of the contest. Custom page. If you have your own idea on how a page in the app should look, you can use the custom page to build your own page. You can add text, images, videos, address, buttons, attachments and a slider. Try adding some of the different features to see how your custom page will look. You can rearrange the order by simply dragging the feature into a different place. Source code. For the more advanced builders, you're also able to add your own HTML code. This is only recommended for people who have previous coding experience. Simply insert the HTML code into the field and the content will appear inside the application. RSS feed. The RSS feed, or Rich Site Summary feed, is a useful piece of technology that fetches all information from a particular site. In this example, we fetch the RSS feed of Reuters and load it into the app. You can easily find RSS feeds by using Google. Images. A picture can say more than a thousand words, and in this day and age, pictures are one of the main tools to convey a message. You can add pictures into your app by using this feature. Add some pictures of the interior of the business or show off products. It's simple. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Videos. Videos have become the most effective way to transfer information. It's a great way to emotionally influence someone. Adding a video into your app is as simple as adding a picture. You can add videos from YouTube, Vimeo or add a podcast. Radio. Adding a radio stream to your app can give the users the opportunity to listen to their favorite radio station. Simply add a title and the link to the stream and you're good to go. 
audio. Adding audio to your app is simple. You can either add an iTunes playlist, a podcast, or create your own playlist. Simply add the URL of the playlist into the field or add in your own music files by uploading them on the web and adding the MP3 URL. You can make multiple playlists that are relevant to the target audience of the application. Contact. The contact feature is incredibly important. Here, you show where the business is located and how they can get in touch. The more information you're able to fill in, the more likely new customers will find the business. Don't forget to mention the social media pages as well. You can see how your contact page will look by checking the preview window. In-app messages. In-app messages are a very powerful tool to reach the users of the application. It allows you to talk directly to the users of the application. Simply add a title, message and a compelling cover image. You can also choose to send the message to a specific location. You can also choose to send to no specific location, meaning everybody that uses the app will receive the message. You can also select to send the message to a specific user or to all users. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Push Notifications Push notifications are a powerful tool to reach out to the users of the app. The main difference is that a push notification will pop up as if the user is receiving an SMS. This means that you are able to display a message directly to the user. This is an extremely powerful feature and statistically leads to high conversions. Simply add a title and the message. You can select to open a feature or a custom URL. Let's say we want to tell all the users of the app that the food menu was updated. We send the message and make sure that after they have read it, the menu feature automatically opens. Booking. The booking function is a great way to keep track on who has booked. You could, for example, have people booking a table for a restaurant or a dentist appointment. Simply add a location and an email address and the rest will show itself. The owner of the app will receive the booking by email. Code scan. We have already discussed the QR code in a different tutorial. By adding the code scan feature, the user of the app will be able to use a QR code scanner to scan your created codes. This is a great way to engage with customers and motivate people to download the application. Simply add the code scanner feature and you're ready to go. Adding a link into your app is a great way to direct users to your website, for example. It works exactly like a link on your computer. The only thing you have to do is copy the URL of the destination into the field, hit save and your link is created. Folder. Folders are a great way to organize your app. If the app is loaded with a lot of information, it's wise to use a foldering system to make sure users can easily find information. You can structure folders exactly like you would do on a desktop computer. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Form. Forms are a great way to extract information from the user of the app. You can have users fill in personal information that's useful for marketing purposes. You can add as many sections and fields to the form as you want. Build it up in a structured and clear way to make sure the user can fill in the form with ease. 
The recipient's email address is the person who will receive the information once a form is submitted. Calendar. Adding a calendar can be a great tool to give users a simple overview on what will be happening. You can either plug in your iCalendar, Facebook calendar or create your own calendar. Give your calendar a name and start adding in events. Make sure to fill in as much information as possible to make sure the user of the app has enough data to attend. You can also link to a third-party website that sells tickets. Don't forget to add a nice image to create more interest. Facebook Facebook is by far the most powerful social media platform in the world and almost everyone is using it. You can simply add your Facebook fan page ID to the app to show the users what's happening on your social media. A great way to engage and a great way to generate more followers. Commerce. Making sure the commerce section of your app is correct is extremely important. This is the place where users of the app can find all information about the business. Things like address, contact information, deliveries, payment options, etc. etc. are crucial to display to the user of the app. The more information the user has, the more likely he will be to use the service or buy the product. Padlock. If the app you're building contains any information only suitable for a specific audience, you're able to lock the application for outsiders. You can either choose the option to unlock with a QR code or by account. This tool is useful for applications that are built to be used inside an organization. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Maps. The Map function is a great way to show where you are located. From this page, users can easily navigate to the location of the business. A map is an essential part in improving user experience. Places. The Places feature is a more advanced version of the Simplified Maps feature. Places allow you to display multiple locations. Let's say the app is built for a coffee shop that has four different outlets throughout the city. You can add these four individual outlets including images, videos, buttons, attachments and a slider. Tips Giving tips is different everywhere around the world. Adding the tip calculator feature allows the user to simply calculate the appropriate tip. The user fills in the total amount, percentage of tip and the number of people. The app will do the rest. Weather. The weather feature updates the user on the weather in a certain location. You can, for example, show the users in another city or country what the weather is at the business location. Inbox. Inbox messages are a great way to communicate between you and the person you are building the application for. It's like sending an email inside the application. This is a very professional and structured way to communicate with your client. Topics. Topics are a good way to inform the users of the app about different things inside the business. Simply fill in the page description and add different topics. You can add as many as you like and rearrange them in your own preferred order. Welcome to the Mobile Application Builder Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Features tab of the editor. Scratch Card. Scratch Cards are a great way to engage with the users of the app. 
The scratch card feature works just like an old-fashioned scratch card. You're able to configure the experience as you wish. Be sure to add a realistic winning chance and a maximum winner count. If you select that players can play again, they will be able to participate as many times as they want and this is only recommended with a low winning probability percentage. Make sure to add interesting images for both the winners and the losers. Because people are playing to win, make sure to reward them with something worthwhile. Real-time chat. The real-time chat feature allows the user of the app to interact with you in real time. This is great for things like customer service or getting opinions on what your customers think.